Welcome to episode 25 of Vampire, Vampire, or Vampire. My name is Antasitor, and uh, just as I said last episode, we're about to talk to this guy, starting with the lady, wherever she is. There she is. You still working at this hour? Yeah, of course. That's what I call dedication. Of course, I'm killing. I mean, yeah. Uh. Sabrina, tell me about your true feelings for your boss. I love Tom. Not ashamed of it. Don't care if the customers joke about it, neither. Who's mocking you? I mean, we're always together. People will talk, won't they? Does Tom love you? Yeah, but he's always reluctant to take it further. It's not because I'm younger, or because of the colour of my skin. He hates jokes about us. Tell me, Sabrina, do you really believe Tom has renounced his life of crime? He proves it to me every day he tells the truth. Tom Watts is a good man. One of the best. And you don't think he might fall back into his sordid ways? We can all do terrible things, Dr. Reed. And we never know what we're really capable of until it's too late. Were you aware of Tom's past incarceration? That's the first thing he told me when he offered me the job. He didn't want me hearing about his past from anyone else. Did it surprise you to find out about it? Not really. I was already aware of his reputation before I met him. That's why I came to the Turtle in the first place. Most people would have run away because of that. Not me. I thought a man like him could give me stability, you know? At least to some degree. And I wasn't mistaken. I guess that's it. Unless something... Unlocks from that? I nope. Goodbye, Miss Kevin. So she's still. Hmm. Think it okay. We'll talk to this guy. Welcome back, Doctor. What can I do? It's, it didn't it, it's not. Hmm. Ah, just missing one thing. Okay. Goodbye, Miss. All right. I guess that's all the information we're getting from them. We did go around here and look for stuff about them, but we never really found anything. Or maybe we did find something, but if we found something already, then there's nothing else to find. Alright, so I kind of remember... It's been, a, it's been a while since the last episode. Um, well, like two days. Oh! Ah. Like two days, but... um. I think I said that we would talk to her, and then we would go do the main mission, and then go talk to Lady Ashbury and see if uh, she has something to say about her daughter. So, <clears throat> all right, we gotta go back to the hospital. So, uh, we're gonna go there right now, then, and I'll meet you guys over there. So I'll be right back. What is this truck? Hmm? The vampire hunters here already. <laughs> Well, I guess the thing starts here. All right. Lord, I will destroy you all. Ah, almost. Oh wow. Okay, with that. Good, cause I I missed anyways with the spear thingy. All right. Where, where exactly do I have to go? Oh, okay. Never mind. I wasn't really in the area. Let's talk to Swansea then. Those bastards. What have they done to Edgar? Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Just checking for anything else. Oh! Since we're here, uh, my DLC weapons should be here. Let's go check them out. In my locker, they said. There we go. Dragon Bane. 75. And Barker. That looks cool. Let's see if we can upgrade them to the max, or at least the last... What? What the fudge? Okay. Oh! 
Um. I guess he's changed the outfit. That's why he had to reload everything, huh? Yeah, I'm not pressing that again. Um, I didn't know we got an we got we had an outfit change also. All right, let's see if we can upgrade our new weapons. Uh, cause that looks really cool. No. Come on. Okay. Uh, we can do this too, and we can do this, and we can do this. Two hundred. So, mm, I guess we'll do this. We're good with stamina, so we're gonna do that. Then, damage and damage. 260. Okay, and what about the weapon? This one does 184. Let's see what this does. It's not that big of a deal. So what is this? Switch to fire damage, best used against beasts and vampires. Switch to chemical damage, best used against humans. Mm, I feel like I use this against beasts and vampires, so... Go with that. And then, what is this? Nah. 199. A lot of stuff here too, but whatever. All right, so actually, let me see. Did I have a thing to inspect now? All right, let's equip our new weapons. We'll use them for a little bit. So instead of you, I'm gonna use you. Which is 60, and you are 252. But because we haven't done the other up upgrade. Oh, this is really good to have, but we'll just try out the gun. There we are. Alright, we switch to that. I guess we can't really switch here. Oh, there it is. Okay, we can. Alright, uh... Follow the trail of blood. Is that a handprint? Oh, we're going upstairs. Okay. Have we ever been here? I think we have. We just never actually went up. Oh, is it a long loading again? Ah, oh, fudge. Okay. Where are we? Oh, this looks like a place to fight. This looks like a showdown. This actually looks like a last boss kind of thing. But that can't be right. Ultraviolet curtains and ori calcium powder. Dr. Swansea's always been a resourceful bastard. I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. We don't kill humans. Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for one. What are you talking about? We know everything. Swansea and you created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're in progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. That shit won't work on me. We found proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh. <laughs> uh. 
So much for modern technology. Time for the tried and true. <laughs> Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. This is ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. If you're so innocent... All right, sword and sword. I burn you so much? Sword fighting. His sword is longer though. I wonder if I'll get it. The blood of a true defender of this land will protect me. Your poisonous bite is useless. Of I forgot about my other attacks. I was so focused on just fighting with the swords. Not that I need my powers to beat you. Ow. Okay, maybe I do. Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt. I'll pin you down! Shut up. We are the guardian of justice. Prewin shall prevail. You can't accept the fact we're not enemies, can you? <laughs> we always have been. And we always will be. Of all the evils that threaten mankind, your kind are the worst. I'm not saying we could be friends, you and I. But perhaps we could collaborate to put an end to this epidemic. Never! We are pre-win. We do not negotiate. We do not compromise. There is no way you'll ever let me be, McCollum. You'll always hunt me down, won't you? There is no escape, Leech. Kill me now. For there is no way you can sway me to your ideals. That's where you're mistaken. What do you mean? Alright, sorry, my uh, dog was uh, barking there for a little bit. I managed to keep her quiet after the second bark or third bark? I don't know. Alright, we're gonna turn this guy. I'll make you a vampire. I'll make you one of us! No! Kill me! <laughs> Prepare yourself, Hunter. You are not to be hunted. Just uh, like me. No! No! When I kissed my uh, uh, goodbye, uh, I had no idea what I was doing. But now I do. Consider this my kiss of Judas. Uh, 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 uh. Welcome to the world through the looking glass. Damn, girl. Did he say Kiss of Judas? Because that's what I'm going to name the episode, but I, I got to rewatch that to make sure that was what he actually said. Okay. So what now? Rescue Edgar Swansea. Science without conscience. So, where exactly is Swansea? Oh, it's near that place. Oh, is he at the. Hmm. Could be. Um, should we go talk to Lady Ashbury, though? I mean, her house is right here, I believe. No. Where is her house? No, I think it is here, right? No, I don't think that's it. Here! 
it's here. Yeah, it's pretty close. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna go to uh, her house, and I'll meet you guys over there. Where have you gone, Elizabeth? I have a bad feeling about this. All right, so as you can see, we cannot talk to her right now, and I figure I wouldn't be able to do anything anyways because she'll probably still be like worried about the 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 doctor. And but like we just saw, she's not even there, so. It's you want to die as well? Be my guest. We are back at the theater. There's one of them! Stop yourselves! Fucking force! God, taste it! No, thank you. But I'll have some of your blood. Come on. So, what is that other thing? It's like one is down and the other one is up. So there's probably two places where they're keeping something from the side quest. So Prewin never left Doris's theater after they invaded. They must be holding Edgar here in their new headquarters. Well, we're gonna find him, and... Alright, so it seems like we want to go down, so we're gonna go up first to it's that one. Up. Whoa! Ah! Silence. Over there. One. Ah! Ah! Shut up. We do the Lord's work oh. Nope, we can't go there. Wait, that's it? Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. I guess I missed that from last time. We gotta get ourselves down again. Oh, this is the normal entrance actually, right? Oh! Give me the chillings. Come on, be open, be open. Ah, come on, how am I supposed to... Let's look at the map. Can I go over there? That's an exit, though. Hmm. Okay, it looks like I gotta go the right way. Unless there was a place to teleport there. I mean, I didn't really explore downstairs that much. It's probably nothing, though. Oh, it's just to get there. Whoa! Timed it right, that one. Time. Door. The beast must door. Well, you all died. So that didn't quite work out. Uh, can go in there, but it looks like it would be the right way to go to get the uh, side quest thing. Oh, okay, this is the way back here. Wait, what? Oh, I gotta go even lower. 
Okay, how do I do that? Don't forget to check every door. There's no way to get to go uh, lower from there. And I hear them. Okay. I see someone, but how do I get down there? It's got to be Gotta be somewhere around here. Hello? Hello? Where the fudge? There's Edgar. Maybe there's a secret passage somewhere? Oh. If you want to read that, you can pause Doris it. Fletcher was about to become a disaster. I'm getting close to having all the evidence. Oh, so your stage key. Oh! Well, there you go. Whoops, nope, 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 nope. I was trying to get out of this. Now I could probably open this. I guess the uh, notebook diary wasn't here after all. Can't go there. Wait, really? You think I'm a normal person? It's locked, all right. It's locked, all right. Vampire Knight, what? Why didn't it show me? Where is it? The Vampire Knight. Is that... Oops. What? Was it here and I'm... Oh, there, yeah, there it is. Legendary Knights. So if you want to read that, you can pause it, read it. If you want to read that... Blood of a pure heart, garlic, blood of a king. If you want to read that... I should find the key to that box. It's locked, all right. Is this what we just read? Yeah, you should find the key to that box. Edgar. Edgar, can you hear me? Jonathan, is it really you? Easy. Easy. Save your strength. I'm getting you out of here.
Don't try to spare me. As a physician, I know all too well when it's too late. Punctured lung, broken ribs, and internal bleeding. An accurate diagnosis, wouldn't you say? Edgar, what happened? They wanted me to confess. Beat me black and blue. Geoffrey McCullum ambushed me at the Pembroke Hospital. He was convinced you and I were responsible for the Skull epidemic. I never imagined that self-righteous fanatic would... dare to attack us in the open. What became of him? I put him in a somewhat delicate position when I made him an immortal. Really? Are you sure that was the wisest course of action? Time will tell. The most intriguing part of his accusation was that you and I were the pawns of some ancient vampire. William Marshall. Yes, they... Uh, they tortured me to make me confess the same nonsense. I think you're hiding something, Edgar. What do you mean? William Marshall, for example. You speak of him as if you know him. How is that? Uh, Jonathan, I... I cannot say I'm ready for another round of questions. Why would the guard of Prewin believe you and I created the vampire epidemic? Maybe due to our profession? Because I offered you shelter in my hospital. I thought you didn't have uh, the energy for more questions, but I guess you can answer mine anyways. What can you tell me about William Marshall? Not much. History paints the story he was the greatest knight who ever lived. Amongst the immortals, he had a yet greater legend. Why is the guard of Prewen so obsessed with him? He was the only ancient vampire to escape the first great hunt launched by the guard of Prewen in 1854. They believe he's an evil creature plotting his return. Why would he deserve such a reputation? I cannot say. The Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole has next to no intelligence on him. All I know is that he's supposed to be the oldest of all the British vampires. Ooh. So he made me? While investigating the epidemic, I read some of McCullum's findings. I think you have some explaining to do. I have nothing to hide, Jonathan. Nothing at all. Do you know Doris Fletcher's real name? No, I'm afraid not. Her real name was Doris Jones. She was the daughter of Harriet Jones. What do you want me to say, Jonathan? Do you remember when we suspected Sean Hampton of killing Harriet Jones? Yes, the terrible episode that came as a shock to us all. Harriet Jones faked her own death. When I found her in the sewers, she confessed she wanted everybody to pay for what happened to her. That woman was extremely bitter, full of hatred and festering anger. Doris Fletcher visited her mother at the Pembroke Hospital. That's how she first got infected. I know nothing about that. Miss Fletcher once came to visit the sick. That is all I know. No, Edgar, there is more. Doris Fletcher was Harriet Jones's daughter. They exhibited the same symptoms. Blind hate and strong physical mutation. What does this sad story have to do with us? Do you know where we are? Doris Fletcher's theater. This is where that hateful creature plotted to spread the epidemic across London. I only briefly met Miss Fletcher once when she visited the Pembroke Hospital. You say it was to see her mother. 
She seemed like such a sweet and graceful woman. My point exactly. The disease turned her into a bitter soul, driven by vengeance just like her mother, a symptom of all the infected patients. Certain diseases are known to produce similar effects. Rabies, for example. And rabies is not the devil at work. Come on, Edgar. Don't you see the pattern here? The epidemic? The link between Doris and Harriet? The suspicion of McCullum? How could I? I never saw Harriet Jones again after she fled the hospital. Doris and Harriet shared more than a hidden family bond. They were the embodiment of the epidemic and are linked to the Pembroke Hospital. Come on, Edgar, this is no coincidence. I swear I'm at a complete loss. All I did was administer vampire blood to cure old Harriet. There was no evil plan, no diabolical plot. You did what? I tested the regenerating and healing properties of vampire blood on Harriet Jones. My only intention was to find the cure for influenza, I swear. Whose blood did you use? William Marshall's? Mine? Lady Ashbury's. While transfusing her with human blood, humanely appeasing her hunger, I also kept samples of her blood for my research. You used her blood on Harriet Jones? My God, Edgar, that's unethical. You betrayed two of your patients at the same time. How dare you judge me? Must I name the alarming list of your victims? We are both deceivers. But at least I know I'm a monster. You have worked beside me. You saw what I'm doing at Pembroke Hospital. Jonathan, you know I'm not an evil soul. Just another victim of this tragedy. Yes, your death is imminent, Dr. Swansea. But I swear, it will be quick. Uh, uh, I already told you to call me Edgar. Am I no longer your friend? I believe you never have been, sir. You have lied to me at every step and betrayed the trust of a woman I cherish. Uh -huh. you, you and the lady? Really? I, I should have seen it coming, I suppose. May I add that I welcome this? The biting, I mean. You have your wish. Is it going to hurt? I always wondered if you... Ah! Didn't hear his final thoughts. <gasps> Swansea's cross and a small key. The dying swan scene. Nope. I thought you were gonna give me the. Nope, the last clue. Alright. Well, hint failed. And another hint failed. Was there something locked in his, um, in his room? Um... I still want to fight, fight, find the other thing. But I don't think I'll be able to. Not here anyways. Might not even be in here. Okay, let's go to the furthest corner that I can. in this building. Get that ready. What? There's more bad guys now? I can now open the box. Oh. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's the farthest I can go, I think. And this doesn't open. Well, that worked out. Now we can open the... 
the door. I mean the box. Oh, his notebook is in there. So, so what is that other thing? Like it's showing me something else. Really don't know if I should read this. But we will. I mean, you can if you want. I don't really <laughs> I don't really want to read this. Damn, that is so much. I can't believe it. Archer is aware that real is going to Mary's death. Archer seems to know what many Londoners have been recently murdered. Archer is suspected to be a vampire by the Okay, I guess he knows everything. Oh, wait. Okay. So, wh why are there two heads showing? See? I don't... I don't understand. Alright, let's just go. Let's just get out of here. I will return later. Why does he keep saying I will return later? Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go over there to give the thing back to that guy, so I'll meet you guys over there. So Harriet Jones became the original carrier when Edgar gave her vampire blood. I must tell Elizabeth. Okay, now I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> Hello again, Carol. How are you? My mother always told me that she had to protect me from the cruel world. Now I see what she meant. This is a harsh and violent world, Dr. Reed. Yes, Carol. As you know all too well, it can be a violent world. I don't know what you mean. And I prefer you call me Miss Price. I'm not a child anymore. Well, uh, she was out here, so I figured I'd talk to her. And we Do have something else. Do you remember now what your mother did to you, Carol? Do you realize how badly she treated you? My mother was a sick person who was afraid to be alone. Her whole life, she looked at me like the embodiment of all her fears and failures. Your mother was very sick, Miss Price. Her sadism towards you was only an expression of her mental disorder. She was a victim, too. Perhaps you're right. Perhaps my mother was a monster. Or a victim of some mental illness. All I know is I can't imagine my life without her. Was that the last thing we needed from her? Oh, girl, you're about to be eaten. Um... How do you really feel, Miss Price? I feel like I'm on the edge of a cliff. Fear of being alone is pushing me toward the void. The weight of unanswered questions incites me to jump. I feel lucid. Are you going to be all right without your mother here? Financially, I mean. I have inherited all of my mother's money. She always told me how poor we would be if we stopped working. But as always, she took care of everything. She lied to you then? Maybe she did. But that was for my own good. My mother loved me, Dr. Reed. Her will testifies to that. Okay, let's just seat her. gonna take you to the same place I kill your mother I mean uh, we're just going for a walk and uh, she wants to go to the alley where her mom died because she needs some closure so I'm gonna accompany her because she doesn't want to do this alone here this is where she died young one this is where you died too what no dr. Reed no! Please, God, wherever I go now, don't let me be with my mother again. Mmm, delicious. Wait, no key? 
I thought we would get the key to go. Oh no! I cannot enter. No. Okay. Uh, where was that other guy? Whispered. Good evening, Jonathan Reed. Can I help you in any way? Ah. Uh, I want to do this a couple more times. Put the money on the table then, Jonathan, and open your mind. Just in case he uh, gets angry Here at me. Is the, money. the mother. For reading his notebook. A suffering soul, ashamed of her silence, terrified to raise her voice, a son to be killed. What? Is that something I already knew? Can you read the cards for me? What? Here is the money. Love. Pure and unseen. Untold. The two hearts love each other without knowing it. Without daring to admit it. I know all this. This is the, the, the waitress and, the, and Tom. Can you... What the... Here. I'll skip it. Aha, there we go. Something new about him. We still need one more, but maybe we can talk to him about it. I'm just gonna skip them. Just in case. There we go. One more for him. Oh, we still have to do his quest. Can you read the card? Here. Nothing. Can you read the card? Put the money on. Here. Can Nothing. you read the card? Here. Can you Nothing. read the card? Here is the money. The mother. A suffering soul. A sh okay. Never mind then. I guess that's all the information we're getting from him. I found your notebook. The one the guard of Prewin stole from you. And you brought it back to me. That's excellent news, Jonathan. Were you able to keep yourself from reading it? <laughs> no. Ah, the oldest temptation of all. If Pandora herself did not pass the test, I suppose I should not blame you for your curiosity. So you're not angry with me? Why should I be? To live is to make choices, Jonathan. And you made yours. Now give it to me, please. Tell me the truth, Usher. Are you a vampire? By the stole, you really thought you could force Usher Talltree to yield to your little mind tricks like an oblivious mortal? Why can't I force you to answer me then? I'm the primate of St. Paul's stole comes with certain advantages, like accessing the greatest library in the country, and avoiding answering certain questions. So, are you or are you not a vampire? As a brilliant man once said, to be unambiguous could only be to one's own detriment. Okay, well, there's nothing else I can ask you then. Uh oh. Oh, because I had to move him? He, well, I mean, he had to move to the front, that's why that happens. I thought he was like, you cannot eat this guy. He has a sword or a knife? I should have seen it coming. I should have put a ban upon you, but there was too much at stake. Old blood. I can't even carry all this stuff that I got from him. Alright, I don't know if... He would have given me the information about these things. I don't know if there's a way to figure this out. But you know what? Let... Oh. I might just Google this right now and just do it, because... I don't know if he was necessary to open this. Or maybe something that I had to read and I don't really want to. Or maybe there's a, like a... 
Ah, oh, okay, wait. There's one on that one. There's two on this one. And there's... Oh, there's one on this one as well. Or maybe that's three. Two. Four. Uh... Alright. One. Two. Three. Four. Nah, that can't be right. Alright, let me Google this thing real quick. Alright, so I read up online how to do it, and uh, I was not supposed to open the notebook, so... <laughs> Yep, the only way to re to uh, get the solution for this puzzle is to not open the notebook. And the thing is that you can't just look it up online because it is always a random order of the pressure plates. It's always the same code, but the the pressure plates are always different, and I have no way of uh, telling which which is which. So yeah, so I'm pretty much fudged up. Uh, What's inside this world is like the true most powerful weapon of the game, like true Dragon's Bane. Um, yeah, so I have Dragon's Bane, but uh, the true Dragon Bane is in there. There's supposed to be a way to glitch through. Uh, if you get the, the, the place here, the situation to critical, um, you can apparently clip through the wall and get it. But uh, as of right now... I can't really get it, so maybe we'll try to glitch through once we uh, make the situation critical here when we eat more people. Uh, but uh, I think that's going to do it for this episode, though. So uh, on the next one, we're going to go and try to find Lady Ashbury. And I think there's a glitch because a head keeps showing up on the map and not appearing anywhere. I don't know what that is all about. It must be just a glitch. But uh, anyways, whoop. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video if you like it. And to subscribe for more. Thanks again.